I don't think y'all are ready for this number. <laughs> So this is my 2013 RX PX 260, which like I said has a turbo on it. Right here runs a comp 5858 oil list. There's no oil going to that turbo, it's just water cooled. That's made it with a tile, 50 mil blow off valve, and a fizzle water to air intercooler. It also runs the billet Wilson manifold. There's the Moltec 130, as you can see, everything is wire tucked. There's not wires all over the place, so that makes it look a lot nicer. And it does have a 300 model valve cover. When do you see a jet ski with an exhaust like this? <laughs> what kind of fuel this thing runs with? It's on E85. What about like uh, injector size and all that? Bosch 2200s, uh, AM340 pump. It's on uh, air motive rising rate fuel pressure regulator. You know, run stock plugs, stock coil packs, full return fuel set setup. Uh, it's all dash six lines. And, uh, that manifold's dope. Yeah, the Wilson manifold's very hard to find. What's up guys, it's Julio, AKA JP, AKA Mr. Worldwide. Just kidding, I just made it out of Florida. I'm probably in a couple different states, it's nothing serious. But, TRC notice, and we're here, we're gonna talk about my 2013 RX PX 260 that happens to be turbocharged. All right guys, like the saying goes, we gotta start from the bottom. My block consists of a pin and balance crank that's connected to a set of Carrillo rods with a set of Carrillo pistons that are 9.5 to 1. It does sport a block guard, and as you can tell, a lot of the parts that I'm mentioning are very similar to what you guys use in the car world. This motor is pretty big like I said the pistons are 101 mil so you can compare that to uh, like a small block V something like that Tau, tau, tau. All right, all right. so everybody loves head right the head consists of everything Kalos performance from the CNC porting to the CNC porting in the combustion chambers the cam the titanium springs and retainers everything is controlled by Kalos performance and that's the only person that I usually recommend to go with any head package in the jet ski world 
and then everything as a package is all tied in together with ARP hardware. All the way from the mains, obviously the rod bolts, cam gear bolts, rocker arm bolts, head studs, the whole motor is all ARP. All right guys, so while we're still under the hood, the seat, the seat, oh. I'm gonna talk about the turbo setup. The complete turbo setup consists of a water jacketed up pipe made it to a comp 5858 oilless turbo. That then goes through my fizzle intercooler and everything gets tied into with tile components from the wastegate and the blow off. All right, next we're gonna talk about is engine management. I run a Moltec M130 tuned by, in my opinion, the best tuner around, which is Brian Tuned also known as BK Bill. Man, I trust this guy with everything I do on my skis. If he says do something, that's a, that's what he's doing and he wants to run a Moltec and that's what I run is a Moltec M130. All right, drivetrain talk. My drivetrain consists of a lightened Kalos Performance drive shaft that's made it to a stock c jet pump with a stainless steel wear ring and a custom pitch Solus impeller. This ski in normal riding mode, usually I'm around 20 pounds, 22 pounds of boost. The biggest thing with the skis is, is the acceleration you get from the amount of boost you get, not necessarily the top end. So on kill mode, this ski is usually set at 35 pounds of boost. I would say around that type of boost levels, the ski should be somewhere in the 500 horsepower range. If I put my trailer on the rollers, it's gonna roll the rollers. So we're gonna we're gonna just cut that out of there. But my butt dyno works. I know it pulls. It pulls good. So the suspension setup that I have was actually created in 1988, and um, I'm pretty sure it's coming up on like its 32nd birthday, like next week, June 3rd. It's my ass. All right, so most skis are set up for an eighth mile drag race. My particular ski will reach right about 96 miles an hour before the, the eighth even comes by. So like I said, it's all about the acceleration, whoever gets there first. Build wise, I basically turned every nut and bolt on this ski. I built the ski from the ground up with the support of my buddies, Fizzle, Ernesto, and Brian. Brian is my tuner, like I said previously, he, he likes the Motec system on the c -Dews, and that's what I chose to go with. He's the only person that touches the keyboards on that ski. But yeah, this is what I do, man. This is what I built this shop to do. We build performance skis. I wouldn't say we're the fastest, but you better, you better come ready when you come live. <laughs> So I'm 32 years old. I didn't start with the ski thing right away. I was heavy into cars. I was a Honda kid, I had a fast Honda, it wasn't slow. Once I grew out of the car thing, which I really didn't grow out of the car thing, I just kept getting in trouble. So I kind of stopped the car thing, sold all my stuff. I actually started going to school to be a firefighter. In the middle of school, I didn't work, I didn't do anything. We stayed, was my fiance or my girlfriend at the time, my wife now. We moved into with her parents and I bought my first ski. At the end of the day, I'm a gearhead like, like every one of you guys. I started modifying and blowing up jet skis. Eventually it moved to the point where I couldn't finish school because of money and I started working at a power sports place and it sucked really bad. I, I quit, I quit and I had like two people that I stole from the dealer 
ownership and I worked on their skis and I made a little bit of money. Eventually it just kept growing and growing. You know, I, I built a social media. My biggest outlet is Instagram. Yo, the YouTube is what like really exploded everything. Uh, but before that, we, you know, I, I started a shop out of the garage with Fizzle. His name is James and Yo, I owe a lot to this guy, man. If it wasn't for, for his brand, kind of giving my brand credibility, I would have never progressed as fast as I did. So, you know, big shout out to you, bro. You know, I love you down from the heart, bro. Kept going, built a shop. We're gonna expand now, we're gonna keep going. I got a good friend of mine, Angel, that helps me out all the time. I'm doing what I like to do and, and I like it, man. And, and it keeps the bills paid. Yeah, shout out to Angel, bro. Thanks a lot for your help, man. Uh, shout out to Ernesto, thanks to him. You know, I've learned a lot. He's kind of my mentor. And yo, shout out to my wife, bro. I love you so much. Yo, if you guys can, go ahead and check me out on Instagram. Like I said, we're almost at 20,000 followers. The big thing for me right now is YouTube, man. YouTube has helped me a lot, and I, and I'm, I see the growth with that platform. So if you guys go and check me out, JP Racing Online, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, share the heck out of that page, because you know, it's only gonna help me get bigger and, and do cool stuff with the skis. We got a nice Yamaha grudge ski that we're about to release, so that's gonna be lit.